What's up, world? It's your girl, T. Fizzle, and I hope everybody is having a good day, and I hope everyone had a good weekend. Anyhow, today's topic is going to be about um, skin bleaching and women who want to be lighter skinned. Um, I've gotten um, several emails from different people wanting my opinion on skin bleaching. They were asking me if I had seen the Tyra Banks episode on black women who bleach their skin and up until then I hadn't seen it but then one of my new subscribers she had wrote me a letter and she had also given me the link to watch the video and I watched the entire video and um it was definitely a great topic and um let me just read her letter really quick to you guys she says hey lovely T first of all I have to say I love your videos it's always refreshing to hear a strong opinionated African-American voice um then she goes on to say, let's see here. She asked me if I had seen the old Tyra Banks episode where she is talking to black women who bleach their skin and their children's skin so that they can be lighter. Um, let's see here. I'm going to kind of, it's kind of a long letter, so I'm going to kind of skip through some parts. Um, she said that she can understand the pressures of society making darker skinned girls feel like they're not as beautiful or as worthy of their lighter skinned counterparts. But then at the end of the day, it all comes down to how you feel about yourself, right? I am a young African-American woman myself. She says that her father is black and Native American, and her mother is white, black, and Native American. But her mother is lighter than her, and her father is a darker complexion. Her brother took her mother's um, complexion, and she took her father's darker complexion. Um, the main thing she wants to know um, here, let me see. She feels like... She likes the fact that Tyra shed, uh, shed light on a taboo subject. And she says, but the main thing that everyone is forgetting to, um, that everyone is failing to mention is that white women um, are trying to look like us. They go to the tanning salons all the time to make themselves darker. Um, so she's not understanding why we as black women, I guess, cannot appreciate our complexion for what it is when other races are trying to be, well, particularly white people are trying to be darker. Um, so she wants me to address that, so I will. Okay, so thank you so much for the letter. I really, really appreciate it, and I enjoyed um, watching that episode. I'm so happy you sent me the link, because when I tell you, I've been looking for it. I meant to watch it back in September, and I must have just went to sleep that night, because I missed it. But um, it was a very, very interesting show. Tyra had a few black women up there who have been bleaching their skin for years. And one particular girl was bleaching her three, she has three boys. Um, they were all adorable and she felt the need to bleach their skin um, because her mother bleached her skin growing up. Her mother started putting skin lightening cream on her when she was five. So now in return, she's repeating the cycle. And um, these little boys know more about skin lightening cream than most adults. I mean, they're like, you know, we put it on so we don't get darker. Um, you know, lighter skin is better. And it was just a really sad episode. Um, but let me tell you, I guess, my life story and skin bleaching cream. Because I know a lot about skin, skin bleaching cream. I'm African. And in our culture, um, I see a lot of the skin bleaching. But, um... I have, like I've always said, I have friends of different races. I have Indian friends, Asian friends, and skin lightening is not just a black thing. It's just not an African-American thing. It's worldwide. It's a billion-dollar business. It's almost as big, as big a business as the hair industry because for whatever reason, we as minorities, and I don't care if you're Asian, East Indian, Latina, whatever, for some reason, we're all chasing the European standard of beauty. The European standard of beauty is like the standard of beauty for all minorities. We all want, you know, the straighter hair. We all want the lighter skin, the lighter eyes. I'm not saying all of us, but, you know, there's people in these particular minority groups who look to achieve that. You have black women walking around here with blue and hazel contacts. That's fine to each its own, but you got to realize that something in the back of your mind is making you feel like lighter eyes are prettier, right? Okay. So now we also have people who bleach their skin. Okay, so now, let me tell y'all this. In my particular family, I had people in my family when I was growing up, when I was a little kid, my kids' age, when I was four, five, and six years old, I have aunties who were dark. And I'm not even saying a like wet dark, but dark skin. You know, like even darker than what I am now. And now that I'm in, that I'm in my, you know, late 20s, and I see my aunts, 
they're damn near Beyonce's complexion. And they've been doing it for the past 20-something years, just, you know, using these creams to get lighter and lighter. The only thing that even shows sign that some of my aunts were even their original color is when you look at their knuckles. You can still see some of the brown because sometimes it's hard to bleach your knuckles. Um, so how do I feel about this? You know, I love my family um, to death. I don't love a lot of the stuff that goes on, but that's with anybody's family. And I don't like everything your family members do. Growing up, I always, you know, like I told you guys in my light skin, dark skin video and in the, you know, your preference if you don't like dark skin girls. Growing up, I did feel at times self-conscious about my skin tone. And this is why I say that. Because when I was in, I would say, sixth grade to junior high, once I turned 16, 17, I just got more comfortable with myself. It was like, fuck it, there's just certain things I can't change. But when I was younger, you know, going through like that awkward stage, that was one thing that people would try to make fun of me about was my skin tone. It's almost like if they couldn't find anything else to make fun of me about, ah, well, you're darker than me, so you're not as good. And I would get that from girls and guys. So I remember one time we all went to church. And I hadn't seen my cousin in a while. And me and her were about the same complexion, but she had started bleaching her skin, and she was 13. And when I tell you guys, it still kind of hurts me to this day, like I could cry about it. But um, she got so much props from everybody. It was like, oh my gosh, you're getting lighter. What are you using? You know, what kind of cream are you using on your skin? Oh, it looks so good. You got my two shades lighter. Oh, wow. I mean, she got rave reviews. And I was just sitting here like, you know, I was jealous. Because I'm like, wow. Like, you know, people are giving her props for lightening her skin. And no one is telling me that I look nice today. I'm wearing my new damn church dress and everything else. And ain't nobody said two words to me. But they're all over here on and on over her skin because it's two shades lighter. So, with that, so that kind of taught me early in life that, okay, my skin tone that I am is not really good enough. So, I asked my mom, my, and my mom is light-skinned, and um, she's light-skinned naturally. She didn't. And I asked, and I was like, you know, I want some skin cream. I was like, you know, I don't want it, because at that time, I think we just used cocoa butter on our skin. I was like, I don't want cocoa butter. I want the same thing my cousin's using. I want some skin bleaching cream, and da-da-da-da. And my mother told me, you know, your skin is beautiful. You have smooth skin. You don't break out. You have a pretty complexion. You need to love your skin tone. Okay. This is how I felt about that. And that's what my aunties would tell me, too. There's nothing wrong with your dark skin. I used to look at them like they were hypocrites. And that's why I said that in the damn Tyra video that I did before, talking about the mother with the relaxer, telling her daughter to love her kinky hair. I didn't say that to hurt somebody, to hurt you guys' feelings. It's the truth. You can't tell your child to love her hair gray and your hair is relaxed. As adults, we can do what we want to do to ourselves as adults, but realize that the image that you're putting out there for children, right? So these women are telling me to love my brown skin and to be happy with the way God made me, but yet every year... I see you, you're a shade lighter. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I say that you can't tell children certain things without coming off as a hypocrite. You know, some people got offended because I said that, but it's the truth because I've been through that. You can't tell me to love my brown skin, but yet and still you want to be light skin and you keep bleaching your skin and you keep getting lighter and lighter, but you're telling me I have such beautiful skin. Well, hell, I can't tell because you, don't, you, you wore my complexion and you didn't think it was beautiful. You know what I'm saying? So I know a lot about this topic and I know some of the stuff I talk about is controversial and some things I say probably offend people, but hey, it is what it is. I'm not about to sit here on my channel and sugarcoat shit. I've never been the type to sugarcoat anything from the time I made my first video. Um, I think a lot of this, you know, some people say it's self-hate and you need to just love yourself. But honestly, for, with a lot of the women that I saw in that show, I really feel bad for them. Because, like I said, coming from being a brown-skinned girl, you know, I may not be the blackest crown in the box, but I got it too. And I'm not, you know, I'm not the blackest person you've ever seen, but I got teased. So I can imagine if somebody darker than me, you know, and I have a lot of dark-skinned friends and they went through the same thing. They still hold a lot of animosity towards people who made fun of them when they were younger. Like I said, I have dark-skinned friends who don't hang with light-skinned women, which to me is just insane. But this stuff really runs deep um, in a lot of communities and the Latino, and the African, 
if you put in, go on YouTube, and I'm going to put some links to the right. But if you just type in fair and white, those Indian commercials, I don't know if you guys have ever ran across them. Those are some of the most colorism-based commercials I've ever seen in my life. And we wonder why dark-skinned women and darker-skinned girls don't feel like their skin tone is good enough or is pretty enough because we don't see those images. And, Ty, and I did agree with Ty when she said that, that the media does portray lighter-skinned women on a pedestal. And I noticed she was naming everybody else. And I was like, if that bra don't name her name, I'm going to cuss her out. Because <laughs> she was like, you know, they have Beyonce in the media, Holly Berry. And I'm thinking to myself, I know she better say her name because she's light. You know what I'm saying? She's damn near Beyonce's complexion. But she mentioned her name, so good up, Tyra. Two points. So, um, you know, I, I wasn't shocked by anything I saw in the episode. The only thing that really disturbed me was a woman bleaching her children's skin. And the thing is, to each his own. You know, like I said, I know people who bleach. I have friends who bleach their skin now. Even with all the, the research out there. I think back then and like when, when I was growing up in the 80s and even early 90s. I don't know if there was as much research back then as far as like the, the mercury and the chemicals that are in these, ble that are in these um, bleaching agents. But now there's so much research. You know, there's a lot of stuff in these agents that can hurt us. You know, that can cause kidney failure. And a lot of these creams are coming from overseas where there's no FDA approval. So you, 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 I go to the Indian store all the time to get my henna and my shikaki and stuff. And they have fair and white. Fair and white is not FDA approved. So you don't know what they're putting into those creams in India. But we're buying them by the, by the drove full. This is something that is affecting us as minorities. This is a, it's a very taboo subject. And I don't mind talking about taboo stuff because it is what it is. But um, I don't knock nobody. I, I understand the hurt behind it. I understand why these women were doing that. Um, I understand that the, the teasing and, and, you know, the people just finding it. They can't find anything else to hate you about. They always go towards the skin. I noticed that with people, even when I was growing up as a kid. At the end of the day, I know it's so easy for me to say you need to love yourself, but it's the truth. You have to love yourself. No, I just, I feel bad for these women, but I understand why they do it. And I mean, now that I'm older, I've talked to some of my family members like, why do you still bleach your skin? And I just think it's a sickness. And I think that we need to stop trying to chase the European standard of beauty and just love ourselves for who the fuck we are. I mean, it's, it's the truth. I can't say it any more blunt than that. Love yourself for your kinky ass hair. Love yourself for your dark skin. Love yourself for your light skin. Like I said before, a person cannot help how they are born. A woman who is light skin cannot help the fact that she is light. Just like a woman who is dark cannot help the fact that she is dark. We're all born in God's image. We can't control how we come out or how our skin tone comes out. So all we can do is, you know what I'm saying, respect somebody as a human being. You know, quit trying to find little ways to bring people down and, and tease them and things like that. But, um... The whole skin bleaching thing is very, very sad. Those fair and white commercials disgust me. And I'm going to put some up on here and I want you guys to watch them. And I want you guys to write down what you guys think about these commercials. And the one that really tripped me out, I think it's called 9X. The girl, and when I, one, one thing I noticed about these fair and white commercials, these people are like, they have brown face on. Like they painted their skin with dark makeup. Because like the, the, the stuff that we're putting out here into the world is just, it's really sick. And I feel bad for like the the kids in India who are having to be bombarded with this crap because a lot of Indians are darker skin. I mean, you have like a, the lighter Indians and you have like, you know, um, people like in Pakistan, they're of like a, of a lighter tone. But most East Indians are browner skinned people. So to always be told that your brown skin is not good enough in a commercial, that's sad. At least we don't have skin bleaching commercials here in the States. But in a, lot of, in a lot of other countries, there are a lot of skin bleaching commercials that are put out there. To the women out there, I want to ask you guys, do you all bleach your skin? Have you tried it? Have you thought about it? I don't know if you do do it, why do you do it? Have you seen results? Um, do you feel like you're doing it because of self-hate? Because you were picked on? Because you were made fun of growing up? Um... And to the women who don't do it, how do you guys feel about women who do bleach their skin? Do you feel like it's self-hate or do you feel like, okay, well, I get why they would do it because people tease them? Um, and then please watch the Tyra episode. It is 40 minutes long, but hey, it's just like watching the Tyra show. So go ahead and check it out. It's commercial free. I'm going to put the link to the right and, and watch it. And let, me, and let me know how you guys feel about the woman who's bleaching her kids' skin. 
let me know what you guys think about the whole bleaching topic. And, um, you know, comment, rate, subscribe. So, I'll holler at you guys later. We're going to get ready to go to the movies. So, you guys have a great day. Deuces.